Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 11 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share James 1 verses 26 to 27. Here is the word of God. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his heart, this person's religion is worthless. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this to visit orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained from the world. James 1, 26 to 27. And here's the poem I wrote based on this psalm. Pure and unstained religion according to God. Many religions have their own gods and their ways to reach a certain place. Some think that they can reach that place through works or following a path. Some beliefs even say that they go through many lives to reach perfection. Others think that if they can do a lot of good, they maintain their reputation. Some groups of people think that they have to seclude themselves from the rest. Another religion has a point system where they get merits or demerits. So many different kinds of beliefs have plagued mankind for many years. They have no understanding of what is pure and unstained according to God. Religion that is pure and unstained according to God is to visit the afflicted. He also commands his elect to keep themselves from being corrupted. When we commit to loving God, we are also charged to love one another. Pure religion is a path where we show compassion to our sisters and brothers. Jesus Christ, when we commit to loving God, we are also charged to love one another. Jesus Christ died for us, not for a religion, but for a relationship, so that we could depend on his kingship. The Lord requires his people to stay holy, for he himself is holy and majestic. We believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, three in one God. Those who are in the communion of saints ought to be united in a bond. The chosen people of God are expected to live in unison with the Trinity. Just as the Father, Son, and Spirit are all united in love and harmony. Pure religion according to God involves relationship in love. It is not a bunch of rules and rituals, but the body of Christ all in one. Reflection. What is the biggest difference in the concept of religion as to how the world view it and how God sees it? And why do you think compassion and purity is the biggest requirement in God's perspective of pure religion? Though uh, there are so many religions in the world, I think it's more than 3,000, or maybe I might be wrong, there might be more, but the concept of religion in the worldly view is that they follow a certain thing so that they could reach a certain point um, or uh, that they could get married from that and um, have a better life. But the view of God in terms of religion is based on compassion and staying holy or staying pure. Pure from what? Pure from the world system. So there are so many religions that actually belong to the world system because a lot of people do not recognize that the world system is a belief system where you focus on what you can do for yourself. So in other words, most religions are all about uh, reaching a certain destination where they will gain um, comfort or they will gain, you know, um, niceness or goodness. But in terms of God's uh, viewpoint when it comes to religion, he focuses 
on visiting the orphans and the widows. Okay, this is not literally about just orphans and widows, but this is because the next verse it says, in their affliction. In other words, anyone who is afflicted with a loss or or an ailment or anything or the vulnerable they must have that certain compassion from that one who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ and then the next uh, there are two requirements to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and and to keep oneself unstained from the world we don't see that in any other religions. In any other religions, they don't have this requirement. Their requirement is to follow certain rules, certain um, certain rituals, or certain belief system that they can have something to contribute for their salvation. But that is very different in, in the Christian's uh, viewpoint of salvation because our salvation is based on God's grace and mercy. And in the other religions, it's not the same case. So, since God is love, that is according to 1 John 4, He requires us to be in love to Him and to others if we are to follow Him. So the religion that is pure according to Him is something that involves a relationship. So Christ didn't just die for a religion, but for a relationship. And um, to keep ourselves unsane from the world, meaning we are set apart from the world system because we do not do what the world does. And that's also said in, in, in 1 John 4, that the world listens to the world. In other words, if you are from the world and you speak, according to the world then the people from the world listens to you but if you are from God you you though those who know God listens to you but those who do not know God does not listen to you so that is how we are separate from from the worldly religion so compassion is the act of showing your love for someone especially in terms of um, pain or affliction. Uh, Jesus Christ didn't die for the rich. He didn't die for the comfortable. He died for those who are in bondage. He died for those who are imprisoned. He died for those who are afflicted, those who are in sorrow, those who are mourning and all that. So he requires us to follow Jesus just like what Jesus did when he was here on earth. He he mingled with the poor in the world so that he could show them that relationship is not about earthly things, but it's about love. So that's probably why, why James focused on explaining to us what is the importance of understanding what pure and unstained religion is according to God. So I encourage you to reflect on this book of James is very powerful book and I think this is a book that every believer should put to heart because it, it is your um, guide to live a life that is holy thanks for watching I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artwork photographs and a copy of this blog please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos and bring you the Word of God. Thanks for watching.